Our next author is the author of Recover from the Shock and Pain of Finding Out That Your Spouse is Cheating. The book is called Betrayed by Dr. Jersey Wolster. Dr. Jersey Wolster, welcome. I am very excited uh, to talk to you. What a time for relationships. Uh, Betrayed, tell us about this book. What's it about? Betrayed is about assisting people to recover with what seems like impossible times. It has, my life journey has been, I've been a holistic practitioner for almost 40 years, and I just see what happens in the human condition and spirit when one is hurt, harmed, broken, whatever the word is, and how do they recover? I've, it's about, it's a step-by-step book. It's got how-to cookbook style thinking in it. It also has a, a rich philosophy of understanding that one of the greatest gifts we have is that of independent thought. And the power to choose and make conscious deli- uh, decisions lies within our, everyone. We all have this gift from the divine. And I think in the busyness of the world, we're forgetting the basics. So it is about taking what seems like impossible situations and turning them around and finding the gifts in them and, and uncovering what our role in it is. Because for me, in order to recover from any condition, whether it's surgery or heartbreak, whether it's betrayal or, or um, a, another problem, we need to take a look at our role in it. And sometimes it's hard to do. It's hard to say, where did I go wrong? How did I screw up? And sometimes we don't. But there's still, I think, in the big scheme, there's a reason these lessons come to us. And as a practitioner, I have worked with for, again, decades, I call it the four components, mind, body, soul, emotion. And I don't think we can just, it's not like a broken leg you put a cast on. I Mm -hmm. think it's not like you go on a diet and lose 30 pounds or, or, or the anxiety or the difficult. I think it's about finding the pathway towards integrating all of those components because we're as strong as our weakest one. And I think we've become a very dissected society. I see it in patients now when they come to my office or my coaching clients, they come in for this condition. I attempt, and sometimes that's perfectly fine, but I attempt to say, what's the whole being doing? What's the whole mind doing? Where's your, where's your alignment with the four components? And what part I, do you I serve? remember the first time I went to therapy, I was 20 something, 22, 23. And I went through a big breakup and uh, I went to the therapist because I figured she could fix something and I could get my boyfriend back. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm like, to do the thing and then I'll just be fit, like, give me the thing. And she wanted to talk about like my whole life. And I'm like, when do we get to the breakup? And you tell me what to say to the guy to get him back. Uh-huh. And um, that journey, that holistic journey is really the only path to healing. Mm-hmm. But there can be resistance, at least from 22 year old girls like me, where I just wanna make the pain stop or the shock stop or that situation go away. And I think that's why a lot of us have turned to pharmaceuticals, just like, where's the silver bullet? Where's the pill to make it go away? Where, do you, where do you ride that line? What, what do you as a holistic physician i get to use vitamins and nutrition and homeopathy and herbology and a whole lot of other holistic healing modalities most certainly there's a time and place for medications i'm not uh i i do accept that but what i've realized in a world of crazy confusion and times we are continuously as a population seeking external solutions Mm -hmm. and as I, i write in the book there's not enough drugs sex, gambling, food. There's not enough out there that will ever fill the void and fix what we need to do ourselves. And so what I've realized through our life, through my journey and through the journey of the patients and the clients I've worked with is when we, I don't know what the word is, perhaps surrender to the reality that there is for me anyway, a divine knowing. How do we return to our knowing? How do we find our quiet mind? How do we find that place of stillness in a very busy world uh, that is our only real solution. You know, and, and it's interesting, I, I call it the abuse or overuse of internet and social media. Sure, it has a place, but we're in a world that, that people are making, getting answers for their lives off of some opinion piece they read on, on the internet. 
and, and no longer checking sources or finding professionals. And I think, I think a lot of people can help us, but false data and false information can harm us, especially if, if we don't have a blueprint. So my book is really about a blueprint of recovering after the insane uh, condition of betrayal. There's a saying that says, in life, pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. I would love to know who wrote that because I don't know, but I do see that. After 40 years of practicing in holistic field and medicine, I've never seen anyone who didn't have her have pain, physical, mm -hmm. mental, emotional. It's part, maybe it is part of the human condition. And it isn't what we, it isn't whether or not we can recover, it's whether or not we know that lying within us is the answers and go get help from the coaches, the practitioners, the family members. And we don't need to be alone. No man really is an island and perhaps it does take a village, so to speak. But I just think we need to look at the broader picture. And again, because I've done this for so long, I just, years ago when I was practicing, people kept coming to me and asking me for information and data and I, ideas and wanted to talk to me. I said, I better go get certified in this. This is decades ago because people are asking me and I need to know what I'm saying. So I do think there's a hope and a place for us to recover from really just about anything. Humankind, however challenges we have, it's an amazing entity of total possibility if we're willing to take a look at the unseen, if we're willing to take a look at our internal knowing and return and remember, really remember who and what we are. Mm. I think the connectedness is critical. And do you have a copy of your book? I do. We I can do. show everyone. Sure. Here it is. There it is. Betrayed. Recover from the shock and pain of finding out that your spouse is cheating. Mm -hmm. Tools really to help you cope through the shock and pain of anything, but particularly if that is a trauma you are going through or know someone who is, please download it. The book is by Dr. Jersey Wolster. Congratulations on your book. Thank you. Great job.